Hey everyone, I'm Anna Hethmaker with Hethmaker Violins and you found another one of our students stuck at home series. Today I'm going to show you three ways you could be doing some serious damage to your instrument without even knowing it. We end up having a lot of people come in asking for these repairs. They tend to be quite expensive and they don't even know how the damage happened. I'm going to show you because a lot of it happens through everyday use. The first one, and it's a very insidious problem because you just don't even know what's happening, is if you're not careful, your fine tuners, when you turn them all the way down, what you don't see is beneath the tailpiece, they're getting longer and longer and longer. And then what you end up with, see this beautiful gouge? And I'm using the word beautiful in a sarcastic way. That is where the fine tuners got screwed into the top and did a great deal of damage. So the way you can avoid that is keep an eye on your fine tuners. When they start getting down too far, look under the tailpiece. You don't ever want them touching the top of the instrument. If they are, loosen them up and then use your pegs to get those strings back up to pitch. Now the second thing that happens, and it actually happens equally with boys and girls, men and women, um, is that we don't realize when we're plucking and we put our thumb against the fingerboard that the corner of our thumbnail can do a great deal of damage a lot of times you'll look and there'll be a line of varnish damage and that's actually from your thumbnail this was actually a twenty five hundred dollar violin and with a lot of varnish damage that it has now, unfortunately, with a kid that couldn't, didn't quite know what they were doing, <laughs> it's not worth that much anymore, and it's such a shame. Here's another really good example, if you can see that line. A lot of times it tends to be a long, thin line because we don't always put our thumb exactly in the same spot when we're pizzicatoing. Keep your thumbnail trimmed, and also when you're pizzicatoing, keep in mind you don't really wanna be resting your thumb on the top of the instrument. The third thing I want to show you, and this is for the violins and the violas, is shoulder rest damage. Now, when you buy your shoulder rest, it comes with these beautiful feet rubber coverings that protects the instrument. But if you look at this one, it's old, it's cracked. Now, this one still has the coverings on it, but sometimes they'll fall off. If you have one of these old resonance, they peel off and you don't even know it because it's the same color. And before you know it, you end up having metal scratching the edges of your instrument. So look at your shoulder rest from time to time. Make sure those feet, the coverings on there are soft and pliable and still all in one piece. If they're not, you can run to your local violin shop. A lot of them just give them away. We have little coverings we'll give you anytime you need one. You can come on by. I hope that helps you so that you will never have these kinds of damage on your instrument. If you have any questions about it, you can give me a call. I'm Anna Huffmaker at HuffmakerViolins.com. Now go practice, and before you practice, go thank your teacher for all the work they're putting into you. Have a great day.